Hi everybody, it's Kristen here from the Dahlia Society. Today I've got brand new pattern releases for you guys and also um, my top picks for Christmas dressmaking. Now, most of these are new. There are a couple in there that aren't as new, but I think you're gonna really love what I've chosen. And I've also made sure I've chosen a lot of picks for the Southern Hemisphere for us here at Christmas. We're warming up or there's a few for the Northern Hemisphere friends for some cozy uh, winter dressmaking as well. So hopefully there's something here for everyone. So you may notice I'm in my sewing area today. It's gonna be thundery outside. We've had a couple of really hot days and there's some storms brewing. So I thought, why not bring you inside? I've just had a bit of a desk cleanup. Oh my goodness, one of those jobs that I've been putting off for so, so long. I had a big clean out, a bit of rearranging and started to get into a bit of the festive spirit here with some little Christmas lights. So it's really starting to feel like Christmas here. And in our family, we have two of the kids' birthdays. So Phoebe and Sam both have a birthday in this week. So we don't really normally start to get uh, into the Christmas spirit until at least after the 21st. Um, usually first of December, the tree goes up and everything starts getting decorated. But now, I if you're like me, you start planning out uh, festive dressmaking or sewing patterns that have inspired you. Maybe you're heading off on a summer holiday. Maybe you've got a lot of barbecues, some work functions. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few things coming up uh, and I really have got a, a few plans and there's a lot of things in this list of patterns that I have been wanting to make. A couple have popped up in the last month or so with new pattern releases as well. So lots to keep you guys inspired. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you could do that. Uh, we have an online store, the dahliasociety.au, where we sell beautiful fabrics and patterns and all sorts of sewing notions and we also have monthly bespoke boxes and I love bringing you guys lots of sewing content and sewing inspiration for all of your handmade wardrobe items. So Let's start chatting about new pattern releases. There's one pattern that really grabbed me last month from one of my favorite Aussie pattern designers and that's LB Textiles. Uh, and the beautiful Lauren that runs LB Textiles has some gorgeous patterns. You guys may remember we made the Duplantia dress for our um, deluxe box in winter, the, the whole Stevie Nicks theme that we had happening. That was such a beautiful pattern. So I'm really feeling confident that this is gonna be just as equally as beautiful. It's called the Gibbons Slip Dress. Now this is a gorgeous bias cut dress and the thing I love about it is that it has the wider straps, so very bra friendly. Also, you've got the options of B, C and D cup, which is fabulous, so no need to worry about um, full bust adjustments and that type of thing. Um, there are sizes A to N, so just make sure you look at your size measurements and also your finished garment measurements. And if you're like me, you can do a bit of grading, which is always wonderful. Because uh, I know with my sizing, I grade within three sizes. It's it's a fabulous way to make your own very tailored fitting garment. Um, what I love about this is the bias cut. If you've ever made bias cut garment, you'll know that it is beautiful as far as the way it fits the body, the movement and the ease around the areas that you really need it. It just looks beautiful on. So this one has two different options. View A has the deep V front uh, and gathered bust. Um, and it has the V cut back as well, which is just stunning. View B is a more of a mini dress with the buttons and loop options as well. So optional darts for that one too. Um, it's saying that beautiful fluid fabrics, things like cupro, sand wash silk, uh, maybe a viscose linen blend, a charmeuse, uh, or even just a normal viscose will lend itself beautifully because of the movement and flow. So I think this, um, for me, it conjures up those beautiful vintage 1940s kind of nightgown. Um, yeah, very, very 
very pretty for wearing out for an evening and I love the fact that I can still wear a bra with it or maybe pop on a little jacket over the top floor if it gets cool cools down at all but for those of you in the northern hemisphere definitely a beautiful um, satiny fluid or silky dress would be really stunning maybe with a little fur stole or something to keep you warm but um, this is definitely one that is on my to make list so feminine and lovely but really really gorgeous so I think that's a winner for the Christmas season now you'll know that um, blackbird fabrics also has blackbird or bf patterns the lovely carolyn from love to sew has bought out a brand new pattern which is really really lovely it is a knit dress uh, you can either have it as a top or a dress and you can make it sleeveless or with sleeves depending on what season you're in so the nicole knit dress is or top uh, is a uh, it's very sleek 90s design they're saying it's a wardrobe workhorse so fabulous for things like layering wearing underneath it especially for me I love things like this for wearing underneath like a duster like a long floaty duster if you want that nice column silhouette length sizes at 0 to 34 which is fabulous um, the back slit allows you to get a bit of movement there and they're saying things like spandex knits four-way stretches are fabulous um, rib knits cotton jerseys and mesh is fabulous so if you want to do something layered that always looks lovely um, if you want to do like the two options one with the, the see-through mesh or see-through lace over the, the, the bold plain color underneath would be a perfect option for a bit of detail there but that looks like a really great pattern and very very versatile for any season now the sewing revival has launched a brand new pattern called the back pleat shirt dress this is in sizes 6 to 24 um, the shirt style sleeve you have a lot of different collar and sleeve expansions that you can play around around with so not just what's pictured there but there's lots of different options the elbow length sleeves really really dramatic and lovely but what I love is the five back pleats it shows there and that would be really lovely and swishy here for the warmer weather uh, has a really nice asymmetric hem um, you've got the regular um, sleeve or the hidden sleeve band and also you can do it in a contrasting or hidden button placket which gives you something a little bit more interesting and different things like cotton poplin are perfect for showcasing those dramatic back pleats um, but it could also be done in silk satin or any light to mid weight woven because uh, as long as it's a woven and it's nice and floaty or you know if you want more of a structured um, back pleats to show the cotton poplin would be wonderful for that so that is the sewing revival pleat back dress now there's two patterns here that I have ordered they went to New York and then we're back again to the warehouse at Liesl & Co so I'm still waiting for my box of these patterns but they should be here within the next couple of weeks because normally um, when I order with them they're here within two weeks but for some reason the box went back again so if you're waiting for these new patterns they shouldn't be too far away um, the new releases from them are the Tommy Gaya shirt style dress which is a really lovely classic style shirt dress with a bit of interest with the ruffle sleeve it has an elastic waist which is fabulous but also has a drawstring throughout the elastic um, in the waist there so lots of nice detail around the waist to give you that shaping but also the comfort there is fabulous because we all know um, for Christmas and all the eating and drinking we're going to be doing one bit of comfort there uh, but also it gives you that nice shirt um, fitted look as well shirt dress fitted waist cinching really lovely uh, pattern love the look of this one uh, as I say sizes 0 to 20 in uh, Lee's & Co patterns the other pattern they've just released is the Isola dress or top it's a more of a relaxed style woven um, dress with a raglan style sleeve You've got your princess seams which are always lovely for show Showing a nice bit of um, shaping and a lovely keyhole back um, that always looks gorgeous so both of those are for your light to mid woven so just about anything cottons linens rayons viscose yeah um, lots of options there but really lovely patterns and they are such a popular patterns in our store Liesl and Co and named patterns of course have come out with a brand new launch and they've got I think three or four different patterns beautiful um beautiful collection i'm focusing on the one dress pattern that they have here it's called the seller sweater dress now this is um a bit different to normal sweater dresses because it's calling for a really drapey kind of knit so a loose drapey knits it's got a really simple midi length and it has a raglan sleeve but a lovely chunky loose turtleneck which is uh it's kind of that nice chic sort of um i can imagine a nice 
loose knitted fabric would be beautiful or even like a lurexy knit would be stunning for showcasing a nice festive kind of dress um so chunky turtle knit it's got sleeves that taper in at the wrist as well nice bit of detail there and a nice wide belt to cinch in and give you that bit of shaping so mid weight knits they're saying 50 percent stretch so th things like a nice loose cable knits would be beautiful in that as well so anything drapey and they're saying you need a knit interfacing to make this pattern as well so that might be something to look out for but love the gorgeous classic detail that Named Clothing has. Uh, their pattern collections are always really beautiful. Now, if you follow the beautiful Sarah from Sewing Therapy, you may notice that she has some patterns on her Etsy store. This one's been quite a popular new pattern release for her. And I know that because when we print A0 patterns, I've had quite a few people printing this particular dress and it's really highlighted my attention to how lovely this dress is. It's the tie dress. So size range is at zero to 24. It has a really lovely, uh, v-neck and grown on style sleeve simple dress and then you cinch it in with these beautiful ties so really lovely detail there um, I love that kind of envelope or tie front style we've got thunder <laughs> tie front style dress and it would be stunning in a linen or linen viscose and even something in a beautiful print to showcase because there's not a lot of seam detail you've just got that tie front which yeah gives it a really nice shape so I love the look at this and love uh, following Sarah's channel on the sewing therapy I'm going to link all of these patterns below in the description box so you can head over and check out any of these uh, a new pattern for sew over it is the Lorna Pinafore. I really love the lovely classic lines of this, a really deep V and the wide sort of um, straps. Its size range is 6 to 30. It's a really stylish pinafore, perfect for things like your denims and needle cords or maybe a brocade or a wool or boucle, something really nice. It's fully lined um, and it's so it would be perfect for wearing with tights, um, very stylish little pinafore this one you've got your straight skirt you've got a midi length and your split at the back um, you've got waist starts to give you that nice bit of shaping um, so yeah a gorgeous one for showcasing a denim and I think that gorgeous ace denim from Fabric Godmother the, the leopard print would be perfect in this one as well and it's bucketing down out there we've got a tin roof so we get to hear the lovely rain falling which is just beautiful now a new pattern release that came out yesterday. I was so excited because I love Friday Pattern Company patterns and this one looks like it's sure to be a winner. And this is perfect for both seasons as well. It's a knit dress. We've got quite a few <laughs> knit dresses. I hope I don't lose power. Uh, quite a few new knit dresses coming out, which is fabulous because they're so comfortable. And I know a lot of you guys love your knit dresses. Um, it's a simple cow neck with a big impact. So it's got a really nice kind of like a boat style cow neck so soft kind of cow not too dramatic a really lovely line at the neck um, and it has these really unusual pockets which are at the front and stitched down so they're nice and flat um, but what I love is the shaped hem it's got a really gorgeous kind of cocoon style with a bit of movement with a bit of high low the hem so that's really interesting detail um, the knit fabrics are saying 25% stretch so things like your rib knits and ponties are gorgeous even scubas and yeah it's uh, lovely to have things like that to wear even in summertime at the right kind of knit it's comfortable things like your rib knit or some cozy knits would be perfect you can layer this as well so I really love the look of this uh, and I can definitely see it in one of our ponties we have a beautiful viscose ponty in store that has a really nice softness and drape to it um, so I love the simplicity of this and I think um, Chelsea's patterns always offer something unique and different but really wearable as well. Now if you've been listening to Love to Sew the podcast you'll have remembered that Chris from Chris Wood Sews was on recently and I really enjoyed that episode learning about her whole sewing journey and what got her started on her low waste pattern company. Patterns are um, no paper so they are all done with a downloaded pattern gives you instructions on how to calculate your size and your measurements and what kind of measurements um, to cut out so a lot of the um, pieces are like columns or rectangles and all very cleverly placed together so really unique style her I love her aesthetic it's very very comfortable um, and very easy wearing and of course the low waist is fantastic this one I'm looking at is called the garden dress it's one of her newer patterns in a low waist and it has a lovely square kind of high neckline. It's got the midi length design, which is really lovely, and a grown-on short sleeve. 
Uh, I love that A-line skirt and I love this. You can either have the straight hem or the kind of inverted U-shape hem, which is very interesting as well. So yeah, use your start size calculator to work out what size and what kind of fabric requirements you need and that kind of thing. But really interesting episode. Can highly recommend heading over and listening to Chris's um, journey. Uh, hilarious. Lo I love um, hearing from a lot of the, the pattern designers and where they started and what got them into sewing as well. So that one is definitely one I would love to think about making. I haven't made any of our patterns before, but I think they're very unique and very cleverly designed. And speaking of clever designs, I think the new in the folds dress is stunning. It's the Elwood dress. You can make it in a gorgeous long sleeve lantern style, a sort of three dimensional sleeve or a sleeveless. It has a V-neck, uh, it's midi length. I love the um, sophi it's a sophisticated comfort of this dress. It would be perfect for a Christmas day dress if you want something chic and floaty, but really stylish and definitely something to be beautiful in a linen not linen blend. Um, imagine this one in that beautiful fabric godmother Le Weekend linen viscose with all that beautiful print. Uh, but even a simple plain color would be gorgeous with the style lines. It says the panel lines are sweeping, so very ethereal looking. Ease at the waist and hips, which is fantastic. Version A has the raglan sleeves and version B, as I said, sleeveless. And the size range is A to J. So they're saying not only linens, but things like your cotton gauzes or your cotton chambres that also be really lovely in this pattern. If you want something on the dressier side and you're going out for an evening, um, maybe you're going to a Christmas uh, nighttime event, you want something to showcase, uh, maybe an organza or a beautiful brocade or a police say or chiffon, something really, really unusual and very dressy. This is a pattern I spoke about on our Frock Tales um, vlog, and this is a pattern designer called Tammy Silver. This is the Lula balloon sleeve dress. Now, a friend of mine from way back, um, Verity, wore this to the Frock Tales and had so many people commenting on it. There's not too many patterns on her website, but there's a couple that are really dramatic and very focused on the dramatic back or backless designs. Um, I love the balloon sleeve, very dramatic, and of course that back bat wing style has um, really captured me with the v-neck. I love it. Um, it is uh, in three pattern pieces, so quite a simple, simplistic make with that nice dramatic back as well. There are 16 sizes on this, which is fabulous as well, so really one for showcasing one of your dressier kind of fabrics as well. So I love the look of that dress. Now, Mason Faux patterns, I am in love with the Cuba Libra. Of course, I made for Frock Tales. I was absolutely thrilled with how it came up. I love their very um, chic and very feminine designs. And really nice for showcasing beautiful fabrics as well. There's just something special about not only the pattern um, packaging, which is gorgeous, but just the way they're modeled and shown, and you can really get inspired as to how it will look on the body. Um, I love the look of the Hort Vol dress. That one for me is one I definitely want to make for heading into the summer period. And it's really lovely, um, that kind of vintage 60s appeal um, that I think they've modeled it on like the Air Hostess um, 60s looking dress. Really gorgeous, very bra friendly as well. It's got the cutout at the front, which is really stunning. Um, and I can definitely see that for a really lovely summertime dress. If you're looking for something a bit warmer, of course, the Soho wrap dress is also really beautiful. And one of our customers, Jane, had this on at the Frock Tales, and I mentioned to her how beautiful it looked on. I really love the fact that it's a wrap dress, but there's not a lot of wrapping to do. There's not too much volume. It's quite a sleek design. It's gorgeous so. in a jacquard uh, viscose as well, that one. I think it's really stunning. Um, the, as I said, the Cuba Libre, I spoke about that, how much I love that dress. That is a perfect dress for um, heading out for a Christmas event. And also you can make that in the backless version as well, which is really pretty. Uh, they've also got the daiquiri dress. If you're wanting something to showcase a beautiful lace or brocade or really dressy fabric, it has a lot of detail at the back as well, like a scallop design. Uh, and it has been a very popular pattern in our store, the daiquiri pattern. I think it is beautiful, very simple but something you can definitely do a lot with a dressier fabric. 
Another new pattern designer, of course, to our store is the Sharku patterns. This dress sold out so fast. We're waiting on some more that are coming in the next week or so. The Alex wrap dress is a beautiful, very unusual wrap dress because it's got the buttons at the waist. It's a long line or a line skirt, but really simple. I haven't seen a wrap dress quite like it before. I really think a dressy kind of linen would look perfect in this as well and some like showcase some really pretty buttons at the waist. And of course, don't look past style like if you love different options if you like taking things from day to night and you want to do a little bit of um, playing around with different options so I like have a few different dresses with expansion packs so you really do get great value for money so the ones I'm looking at here I've made a couple of their patterns out uh, and the other ones that I'm looking at I haven't made before I really want to so the style like porter woven pack gives you heaps of options for going from day to night it has that really lovely bow detail front which of course is very in at the moment and that nice puff sleeve but they also have options with the sleeveless design as well so you do get plenty of options in that portal woven pack um, there's also the trini which is one that i have on my to make list that one you buy the trini i have the classic trini pattern in store but you also can buy the expansion pack so that gives you heaps of options with different sleeves different necklines you can do lots of different mixing and matching but love the classic design also the skirts have different options not just the bodices so which is fabulous as well we all love the hope dress if you haven't made a hope what are you waiting for it is one of the easiest dresses to make i absolutely love mine i've got three hopes love them wear them in all seasons you can lay them with tights and boots for winter and because it's got that sort of elbow length sleeve they're great for summertime as well and i've made mine in uh, linens before viscose cotton lawn um, it's about to any uh, kind of light to mid weight woven in the hope and i think that you can also do a knit in the hope which i haven't tried yet so um, the hope expansion pack also gives you the options for different sleeves and different uh, like a keyhole front as well and also like a button front which is fabulous the montana dress is also another one that i've made and i've loved i love the expansion pack on that uh, i've made the button front expansion which um it's essentially doesn't unbutton i've sewn my buttons down but i love the little cap sleeve option for that and I just love the skirt. It's not overly um, gathered. You've just got a nice, simple looking long line skirt on that. Um, so the Montana is definitely worth trying. And there's two other dresses I think are fabulous in their range that I've made before in the past for um, heading into Christmas season. One is the bell dress. That is a, a really stunning dress with a nice dramatic puff sleeve. A lovely v-neck detail. I love the v-neck and I love the cinched in waist and the button front. And I noticed there was a couple of those at frock tails floating around that looked gorgeous. Um, that sleeve on the bell is definitely one worth raving about. It's beautiful. Another one of their wrap dresses that I made a couple of years ago now is the Millicent wrap dress. And again, it's a really classic, lovely wrap dress but without too much fabric. So if you like that, neater style fitting um, or A-line skirt wrap dress. The Millicent is gorgeous. And I made mine in a floral linen viscose blend a couple of years ago. It's got a really gorgeous sleeve as well. So um, always look at finished garment measurements. If you're not sure with those more fitted garments that you want the right amount of ease there so you don't go making one up and having, um, you know, having it not wrap as well as you'd like to. That's one thing I find that the wrap with wrap dresses, you never quite know how much wrap you're going to get. So I love the fact that when you see a finished garment measurement there, you can see exactly uh, how much ease you're going to have. Because you don't want too much ease. You want to make sure that the bust wraps really neatly. So it's also always good to um, think about making a 12. You have some special Christmas fabric that you want to use. So I hope I've given you some inspiration there. There's lots of festive sewing to be done. I have quite a few plans, things I want to make. Um, but I also don't want to put too much pressure on myself. But I don't want to leave things till like the day before Christmas because that can also get a bit hectic and things start to tend to go wrong when that happens. So let me know in the comments below what you've loved with the, all of those new suggestions. Have you got a favorite Christmas dress that you love to make? Um, please uh, add that in the comments because we love sharing all the pattern info around. It's always the best way to learn about either new patterns or um, patterns that you've loved making in the past. We'll see you all shortly. Thanks for watching today. Some more thunder happening and I'm off to do some sewing. See you soon. Bye.